Yes, yes, yes. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome to the new week. Okay. This is running from March 11th until the, the 18th. Okay. We'll restart on the 18th. So, welcome to the new week, guys. Um, this week definitely is going to start with a little more challenge, and then we'll end with clarity. Okay. Um, because the grand scheme of things, we're ending Pisces season. Okay. Um, starting March the 20th, we kick into Aries season, and we restart the new year. And um, the sun is at the spot of newness where it restarts, okay? And so we'll be restarting a new year, restarting the zodiac. And so lots of new beginnings, lots of initiative, lots of new things really kick in starting March the 20th, okay? And because of that, that means since February 18th, Pisces season, we've been wrapping, excuse me, wrapping up and clearing, okay? Really looking at things, that things that have gone on since last March, really wrapping up getting greater understandings, um, things are revealed to you that were hidden to you in the 12th house, so lots have been revealed to us. Um, we're putting lots of pieces together, trying to figure lots of things out at this time. Um, this also Pisces season rules um, faith, compassion, surrender, okay, um, and the connection to a higher power, connection to spirit, and the connection to all, honestly, the connection to all humanity and all of us in one. And so those are major themes we've all been dealing with this Pisces season. Lots of trusting, lots of faith. Um, I just posted an a, a Instagram post about how deep is your love, you know, um, because that's been tested in this Pisces season. How far will you trust your heart, you know? How far are you going to listen to the guidance of you? Even, even, even if the external world is telling you complete opposite, are you going to follow your heart? Are you going to trust that guidance? And how far, how deep will that go? And that's really what Pisces season is about. Um, it rules, you know, the ocean. And look at how deep we only know about. I think I looked up how much of the ocean we discovered. It's like three or five percent, something small. So we have no clue how deep in the depths of the emotions in the water are, how deep the water is in the ocean. And so it's that similar aspect of Pisces season ruling the oceans and the storms and the tides. How deep will you go? You know, if you go down, you know, in your emotions, how far will you go? You know what I'm saying? For someone else, how far will you go? Um, for yourself, how far will you go? How far will you trust? How far will you open up? How far will you surrender at this time? Okay? And through that, you will find lots of understanding and get new things with this Pisces season that's coming up. Starting on the 10th, we ended, started the last 10 days of Pisces, which is the Master Degrees, which is really concluding and making us really have to um, put into reality a lot of what we've learned since February 18th about ourselves, about trust, about faith, about compassion spirituality, our intuition, all these things we've been learning, all these lessons we've been having, now we're wrapping things up and coming to a greater clarity with that. Okay. Um, and it will really, <laughs> the clarity will be coming by, we'll get a chance, a new moon's our chance to plant seeds. And so that's coming on the 17th, St. Patrick's Day, um, and that will be a new moon in Pisces. Okay. Um, the interesting thing I've been thinking about with this new moon phase for the past few months, definitely I can say all of 2018, I don't know so necessarily know when it switched, but we started having new moons at the end of the zodiac season, okay? And so if you kind of understand, you know, what, what this means, new moons are times when you get the sun and the moon together, and so you have clarity because the sun is your awareness and the moon's how you feel about things, your reaction, so they're both in the same sign, you're getting the same energy with the sun and the moon, okay? Um, this is a great time of understanding of planting new seeds, starting new cycles, because you have all the understanding you need, your emotions are ready to go, and they they match up perfectly with what you want to see for yourself because the sun and the moon are together, okay? Every new moon you have in each sign brings this clarity, okay? And currently we're going towards the new moon in Pisces, okay? So this is gonna give us clarity, give us an understanding of Pisces energy, this Pisces season, and how to move forward with this Pisces energy, okay? That's, what, that's what's going on. But notice, though, since at least 2018, I know it's gone back before that as well, but we have, we're having this new moon in Pisces, the clarity, getting understanding. February, I mean, March 17th, okay? Pisces season started February 18th. That's a whole month. A whole month we've had to go through Pisces season just into the water, just pushed us into the water of the oceans, figure it out, you know, dive into your emotions, or we haven't had the chance to get full clarity of even what's going on. 
Okay, so we've kind of been swimming in these our emotions, swimming in this the ocean of of you know flowing, just flowing and trusting, but not really having a true sense of okay, where is this taking us? You know, and now we're going to really be able to see that coming on this on the seventeenth, okay, at the end of the month, okay, and what this is making us do all of twenty eighteen. If you watch my twenty eighteen video the, uh, about how this who is it affecting the most, it really talks a lot about what 2018 means in general, how it's 11 year and about polarity and our balance between us and someone else. I definitely think having the new moon at the end of the year puts you in a major trust and faith mode with the spirit. It's like a polarity between you and your life that and seeing, okay, how are you going to deal with not knowing a lot of going into these different energies without a new moon to give you clarity? We had to do this in Capricorn season in January, you know, um, being forced and pushed into this energy of Capricorn building and fa putting foundation and wanting to build ourselves, but not having a Capricorn new moon until the end of the season, which Capricorn new moon gave us, you know, the understanding, oh, this is what I want to do, this is where I want to go. But we had to just figure out and build foundation and stuff and not know what we were building, you know, which is more difficult. Try starting to build a house and you don't know the, the floor plan. You're just, okay, well, no, you're not going to get the floor plan. What we need to do is one day at a time. Okay, today you need to lay this layer of cement. So this layer of cement, don't care about what the walls are going to look like. Don't care about the full plan. You're going to get that at the end. And that's kind of what these seasons are. Aquarius season came in. The new moon in Aquarius was February 15th. Aquarius season started January 18th. Same energy, a full month, basically, before the new moon in Aquarius. Aquarius rules your foresight, your future vision of yourself, how you're going to remix yourself, how you're going to be unique. So all from January 18th to February the 15th, we were trying to understand you know our vision of ourselves really understand okay how do we you know stand out from others how are we unique how are we special all these different aspects but we had no new moon to give us the full plan we got that february 15th we've really been moving on from that vision point since then on what we've kind of decided about ourselves okay now we've got march coming in you know we've had this full pisces season of going with the flow trying to feel into our emotions, following this guidance, but we're now going to have on the 17th the opportunity with that new moon in Pisces to get the understanding of this full Pisces season. Okay. I also made a video of five ways to handle this Pisces energy. Did that because we haven't had the Pisces new moon to really give us an understanding of how to deal with the Pisces energy. So we've just been kind of going with it. Okay. So that's kind of what's been going on as well with this energy. Okay. Um, and what this is doing is it's making us really wrap things up without you know, I really, there's this song that I just heard, um, my friend just sent it to me, I love it so much, and it talks about, you know, um, basically when we're in an unknown place, that's when we seek the most. You go and you go and seek the most when you don't know what to do, you know. You go and look for the, for, for the most options, you go and you're finding out so many things when you, you're not sure of, of the, what the outcome is going to be. And so that's what spirit does to us, it places us in unknown circumstances that we can seek, you know, seek further in ourselves, seek for more, you know, using others, and seek more with spirit for answers, okay? So that's what we've been doing this entire Pisces season. We're getting this clarity on the 17th, okay? Um, going into the week, you know, for this week, this weekend we had some tough transits, okay? Um, you know, starting off we had, number one, let me know if you felt a shift since March the 8th, okay? Jupiter went retrograde. So Jupiter has been going through, I talked about this in last weekly video, Jupiter has been going through Scorpio since October of 2017, exposing the hell out of everything, you know, really going in and um, Jupiter expands and gives us experiences in whatever area of the science of the zodiac it's in to give us more wisdom and more experience and knowledge, okay? Because Sagittarius is the ruler of Jupiter. Jupiter rules Sagittarius. If you know Sagittarius, they love to travel, they know, love different cultures, they love learning schools, higher knowledge so that they can gain more wisdom and knowledge. You only gain wisdom and knowledge through experience. So with Scorp Jupiter going through Scorpio since October, we've really been opening up and really been experiencing so much of things that were hidden from us. Um, all the corruption in government that's been exposed, all the just nastiness with a lot of the politicians and what they've been doing behind the scenes as Jupiter and Scorpio Ooh, expand, throw it in your face. You know, fears, anxieties have been coming up as well for us to look at. And so but the thing about it is that all these things have been exposed to us and shown to us, but we haven't had a lot of time to look back and gain understanding and wisdom from it, okay? This comes in Jupiter retrograde, which is what just started, okay? So we're really going to be able to reflect now on all that has been revealed to us since October. 
which has been a lot, okay? And so it's a lot of reflecting that's really kicked in. This energy also causes a diminishment in optimism and faith, okay? So a lot of this faith in the building and all the vision we had in the Aquarius season, all this building in the Capricorn season, now, you know, the faith is, it's, we're going to have to really build faith in, in ourselves now that Jupiter's retrograde, because when it goes retrograde, it, it loses, we lose the external energy of Jupiter, which is that optimism and faith. I can tackle anything. So since the 8th, I felt a little more, you know, doubts and worries creep in because that faithful energy has been diminished, okay? And so we really had to really trust even more since the 8th of March. Then we came in on Sunday, we had Mercury square Saturn as the moon was going through Capricorn and passed over Saturn, okay? Saturn, anytime Saturn comes into play, I literally feel like a heaviness kind of comes in. Saturn is the most dense planet. Um, and it is like a father figure coming in that shadow over you, making sure and checking to make sure things are going in the right order, okay? And since December the 21st, watch my Saturn and Capricorn video. Saturn has been snatching wigs and really regulating our responsibility and what we're doing. So with this, we crazy responsibility has come in in our, our awareness. Are we doing this right? Are we on the right path? Am I being productive of enough? How can I build myself more? How can I work more? And it's really been in our thinking and communication because Mercury is squaring, okay? Mercury's been going through Aries, blazing forward. I want to start these new things. You know, I'm thinking of these new ways. I want to have this new vision I want to begin. You know, I have this new initiative. You're really thinking a lot about ourselves and how to build ourselves. And it hit Saturn and squared Saturn. It was like, screw it. Oh, I, I don't know how to move forward as much now. Am I being responsible while I'm moving forward? Like, am I doing this in the right way? You know, am I, how's my karma right now dealing with this? Is it, how is this going to build? Is this helping me build forward? So a lot of challenge coming in in our mentality and how we're communicating ourselves because of the square from Saturn that happened on Sunday. We're still going to feel it throughout the week. The same energy is going to, Venus is right beside Mercury, moving in Aries. She's going to get hit with it on Wednesday. Okay, make sure. Yeah, oh, Tuesday, the 13th. Okay, Venus is going to square Saturn. And so this is going to be the same energy but in our relationships, our finances as well. Um, and our sense of enjoyment, we're going to be like, oh, you know, wanting to move forward in, in, in our relationships, in relationships, wanting to move forward in our finances, move forward in how we, you know, enjoy ourselves and how we're promoting ourselves and all the new desires we have. But Saturn's going to be like, wait, hold up. Are you doing this in the best way? Are you being responsible? Um, are, how are you treating people? You know, are, are, you, are you still remaining balanced? Is it structured in, on your highest good? You know, all these things are going to be in check. We could also receive limitations because this happened, you know, Saturn brings limitations and stuff. So we were really limited in thinking, challenges coming in our thinking because Mercury scared Saturn. So now we're going to have limitations from other people. And our, our money is going to be limiting, um, being like, oh, I can't get to this because I don't have the funds right now. Or I can't enjoy this because I don't have the funds right now. Or, these, you know, if this situation wasn't like this with these people, you know, I would be able to be more free. All these things come with Saturn because you have to, he puts restriction on you. So you can use your instinct and use your strength in yourself to figure a ways out, okay, in tough situations. So this energy may be coming in, really starting from the weekend, coming to the beginning of the week. We will be having the sun sextiling Pluto as well, okay, really starting more Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And what this is going to be bringing, the sun is in Pisces and Jupiter, I'm sorry, Pluto is in um, Capricorn, okay. And what this is doing is this is, this is bringing us... Um, well, it really happened on, to really it's happening now on, on, on Sunday as well, um, and we'll be feeling it, the rough effects of it, but it's deep transformation. Pluto rules transformation. Um, it's that Scorpio planet. It's the Scorpio is ruled by Pluto. And so as, as Jupiter is going through Scorpio, making us, revealing all these dark aspects of ourselves so we can transform into newness, we're going to feel this energy of transforming at the same time as we have all these squares from Saturn. And this is so pivotal and, and important. We're going to receive these challenges, these restrictions. And that's how, remember I was saying, gaining wisdom, how to get through. It causes new transformation. We will be transformed and come through a new way of how to gain power in ourselves, um, how to flow into new awareness of ourselves and of our power through the sun flex health Pluto. So as we're getting these challenges, it's also going to benefit us and allow us to transform. The last thing that is occurring, Mars is, is currently trining um, Uranus, okay, Uranus is in Aries, okay, and this is current, Uranus is the ruler of Aquarius, okay, and what Uranus has been doing in Aries is making us revolt, making us create new innovative ways to promote ourselves 
promote our uniqueness and to focus on our being and, and not let people you know hold us back and come come up with new ways to be free in ourselves all these things and so with it training mars and sagittarius which rules freedom and rules travel and rules expansion all these things uranus and Aquar aquarius and sagittarius are the two signs that love freedom that hate to be held down okay that love expansion that love you know um separation as well and, and Moving. So with these two energies trining, we're really going to be motivated now to expand and to create new unique ways to get past. Think about it. At the same time, we're having this this challenges from Saturn and this transformation from Pluto. So as we're transforming and as we're caught getting into these roadblocks from Saturn and limitations, Mars is trying to Uranus, giving us Uranus rules Aquarius the future. Okay, giving us innovative and futuristic new ideas. To motivate us and to drive us to get past these situations and to transform. Okay, all of this challenge and transformation is occurring days before the new moon. I think that is a, a, another coincidence. Okay, another thing that is purposeful. Okay, we're transforming. We're really changing, gaining all these aspects of how to improve ourselves, and then we're going to be able to plant seeds in our new faith for ourselves in this Pisces energy of compassion. And I think through this, these challenges we're going through now. We're able, we'll be able to really see how far we're coming and see how far we, we were able to go through and trust ourselves in these past two weeks and three weeks as Pisces season has been going through and really build a new sense of foundation of faith in ourselves and faith in spirit because we've made it this far. Look at where we are now. Look at where we've gone through and transformed and not knowing we had no clue of how to do any of that, but it happened. Okay? So new faith, new trust, new spiritual um, enlightenment and new spiritual ascension and, and focus will be coming on that new moon. I think that's we have to go through all this stuff through this week, and then we'll have the new moon in Pisces allowing us to set new seeds, okay? Again, remember I was talking about the whole purpose of me offering 30% off live sessions um, because healing is major and super, super important at this time. The new moon will be conjunct Chiron, okay? And Chiron is the entire thing I've been talking about all Pisces season, the wounded healer, our deepest soul's wound, okay? Collectively, right now, Chiron, the asteroid, has been in Pisces since 2010, okay, really working on our healing and our wounding with the same aspect, our faith in ourselves, feeling isolated from others and from spirit, like, you know, no one's looking out for me, There's, you know, God, what's going on, we've had this energy, this wound, and so we've been feeling and working on that since 2010. With this new moon, planting new seeds, and having this new clarity on Chiron, the same point, I think we will be having this time of planting new seeds, like I said, new trust and faith in ourselves but also planting new seeds of healing, new seeds of understanding of these wounds. Our wounds are going to be shown to us because the sun's going to be on Chiron on this day. On towards the weekend, wounding will be coming up, and we'll be having opportunity through our transformation we're going through now to patch up and gain further analysis, get and feel into these wounds, and heal them Okay, on this new moon. Really, again, I want to emphasize, get in contact with me for the live sessions, especially the healing sessions. They are legit. Um, love doing them for really clearing out all these aspects and wounding so we can get started with March 20th, Aries season, newness, okay? Um, and new energy coming in. This healing energy really, are, you know, is, is allowing our intuition to be um, even more strong and our, our senses a lot more enhanced. So we can really tap into and feel into what's going on now. Um, and that's the astrology of the week, guys. Um, oh, really quick, the same day of this new moon, we have Mars going into Capricorn, okay? The new moon, as it occurs, Mars will be at the last degree of Sagittarius. And if you remember back in December, I remember back in December, um, I was talking about um, that point is the galactic center point, okay? From about 27 degrees Sag to, to 29 degrees Sag is the center of our galaxy. Um, and so when planets hit that point, we're able to see the center of our, you know, every as above, so below. The center of our galaxy is the center of ourself because we are our, our own universe, okay? Um, and so when any planet like Saturn was on that point, before it moved into, you know, when we started to get work done, we were really finalizing and finding structure in our vision. Where Okay, what do I really want to be doing? All December, Saturn was at that last point, right, where Mars will be for this new moon. Really finalizing, okay, what, you know, putting karma, what is my new karma, what do I want to do with my life, where do I want to move, um, in all that focus, Mars will be on that point on this new moon, okay? So that's our drive for what we want to do, our, our ambition, 
Okay, so we're really going to be focused on this new moon as we're planting seeds in this new area of new healing. Mars will be at the last degree of Sagittarius, really focused on manifesting our vision and making that vision in alignment with the center of the universe, the center of our soul, our soul path. Okay, lots, lots just came out that day. That is the main thing. This new moon is going to be really, really big. And then right from this new moon, we have Mars going into Capricorn, which is Mars loves being Capricorn. Um, Capricorn is the get work done energy. How can I build? How can I be successful? So Mars being there is going to put our drive and our ambition. We finally are going to feel like it's go time. We've had lots of time to review, create our vision, build, get new desires, new passions, transform, get these new challenges to really reshape how we're working with the world and how we see ourselves. And now Mars is going to Capricorn to give us this building energy, this drive to move forward. A lot of energy we haven't really been feeling like I don't, I, we've been motivated, but not really. Let me get up and do this. Let me get up and create this. This will be happening starting on this new moon, okay? Because Mars will be moving in Capricorn. Um, and so we really will be having this go, go, go energy. And at the same time, you know, right after the new moon, we have Aries season, which is the new start of the new year. So lots of, I've been saying this really, you know, it's go time, March 20th, New Year's beginning. Mars will be kicking into Capricorn to really initiate this. Venus and Mercury are already in Aries starting off this initiation. We're wrapping up our final healing up until this new moon, 17th, and then it's go time. And that is the astrology for Z. Okay. So I want to get some tarot. Of course, you know, we got to go into the spiritual as you do the left side of the brain, you know, the logical aspect of the week. Let's get into the spiritual aspect. See energetically where we're going to be. So spirit for the highest good of all. I want to channel in love, light, abundance, and clarity for all viewings. Just saw 2222 on the video. So have another amazing day. Um, so continue. Okay. So we're currently in situations where things could be, we could be feeling like things are limiting us, like we're very controlled in this time. This, again, is the ruler of Capricorn, the ruler of Saturn, this card. So all this challenges from Saturn that we've talked about this weekend could be coming in and making us feel restricted, making or fearful as well. This could be fears and anxieties from the past um, of aspects that controlled us and aspects that made us like, oh my God, I don't know if I can make this because of this major fear. Um, but again, always remember they can actually take these off. They're not that tight, okay? So it just takes time to realize, okay, I actually can get through this. It just takes a little bit of, pre of patience, okay? why the temperance card came up with this card. It's saying at this time, we're really going to be need to be super tempered and, and really one foot is in the water, one is on earth. So maintaining the balance between the logical, moving forward logically and practically, but also following our gut and our intuition. Now, how many, you've been watching this, guys, how many times have I been talking about balance, okay, and balancing things out, okay? So this healing I feel like we're going into as well is divine masculine left side, divine feminine right side as well. How are you balancing that out? And as these authorities over you or as, you know, power or, or this could represent authority, um, different uh, masculine figures, your father, any kind of energy in that way, um, putting control over you, how are you going to be able to get past this energy and balance out um, yourself and make, make it through to be tempered in your emotions, be patient, move, moving through as well. This also shows me, though, this could be a lot of divine masculine energy we're pushing forward that could actually be limiting us. How can I move forward? How can I really build, 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 build? And needing to be more tempered and using, look at all the water in the front, okay? Before you can step onto the ground, you must first tap into your emotions and see where you're going and see what's purposeful and what your heart wants and then move forward, okay? I mean, a lot more. It could be, oh, my heart is telling me I need to just be more receptive right now and not move, okay? And so this is the energy that could be coming in as well with those people. I want to see all of these challenges from Saturn Spirit and then we're coming in, you know, towards this new moon. What is going to be the shift of this new moon, the focus of this new moon for us? Okay. Lots of the decisions we've been trying to make and really move forward, but we haven't been able to really, you know, gain clarity. Notice this is the moon right as it's leaving. And like right currently, you know, the past weekend, Thursday, Friday, we had the moon in Sagittarius, which was the last square of the moon cycle before we get to the new moon. So the last challenge is coming in, and now the moon is in a shedding phase, losing light. And so this is showing the last aspect before we have this new moon, the moon will be shedding. So we'll be here working on the healing. But look at all the water in the background. It's going to take lots of understanding of what's going on back here in the oceans to make us get a clear understanding of what we're, we're right now kind of between two points. 
trying to figure out what's going on um, and trying to figure out how to move forward. Okay, and so this is definitely saying that, you know, this period from now until this new moon, we're really going to need to tap into our emotions to gain any new clarity on things that we've been debating and how to move forward. You know, just like questions of, oh my God, is it this? Should I do this? Should I do that? Should I do this? We're very indecisive right now. Um, and I really think this is also because she's holding two swords. That's air energy. Only coming from a logical perspective of looking at and seeing what's going on, but now taking the time to sit and feel into what should be done. Um, the bottom of the deck is we got strength, so I definitely feel like it's time to tap into it's all internal, okay? She is not a sumo wrestler holding down that lion, okay? The lion is yielding and able to open up to her because she has inner wisdom and strength, okay? Knowing that she has a connection to spirit, ever she's protected, that's that connection here. The magician has the same connection. The connection to spirit she has is allowing her to feel safe and protected. And so this is the energy now we're being asked to harness, okay? I talked about it before. How deep is your love? Okay. How far are you going to go? How, how far are you going to go and trust yourself? How much are you going to open up to new opportunities? How far, how much courage are you going to pull out of yourself to move forward in this time, in this week? Um, the new moon. Now, as we're going to the new moon, you know, we just had lots of the, you know, the, the decisions we've been having going back and forth. Um, and now I want to see what this new moon, boom, the new moon, three of wands. It's all about new planning. I was saying planting new seeds, um, a new beginning. This is all about that. You know, he's looking at these ships going off and sailing onto a new vision, a new voyage. And he's like, okay, where do I want to go? Where do I want to go? You know, um, what direction am I trying to move in? Um, and we're going to really be planning and able to get the clarity finally on the waters. Okay, this is water as well. The boats are on. Where we're going. Okay, direction on the ship. Okay, we've just been floating in the water for like three weeks, and now we'll be able to put a destination on the, our ocean travels in Pisces season. Okay, um, I want to see as well. I felt like there was something else I wanted. Oh, I wanted to say that was a three of wands. So that is a lot about Trinity as well, feeling balanced in our mind, heart, and spirit, um, and moving forward in the vision. Now that we have the solidity of all all of parts of us. Okay. So that's another thing to balance. How are you balancing out? And then again, we have the three of cups. So again, this is the trinity. Three. Three are always three energy. Okay. The March is a three month as well. Okay. So this is a lot about balancing mind, body, spirit. Um, three also is this Gemini energy of socialization with others, communicating with people in your surroundings, getting out there, getting social, and enjoying yourself. So this is energy coming in this new moon as well. And I want to bring in, we got the ace of cups. So Pisces rules compassion and water and, and uh, humani not humanitarian, that's more Aquarius, but our connection to all, the collective, conscious, is ruled by Pisces, um, our connection to spirit, and Pisces is all about mutable energy, shifting and energy and going back and forth between how we feel about different things um, and feeling into everything. Look at all the water in this card, so we'll be able to gain this opportunity, gain this new light, this new understanding of everything. Um, from this new moon in Pisces. We've been in the water this entire time and now we'll be able to get the gifts from the water, what the water brings, okay? Um, and leaving this week, you know, what will this week now? As we're leaving this week, we're gonna be asked to stand our ground, continue to just stay strong um, and stand, you know, and, and, and this is all about, you know, now being solid in this new beliefs as you plant the seeds, stand up for them. And then you have Aries season coming to, to have this new start. Okay, it's all about what your wishes, what you've been dreaming and desiring. Okay, um, so that is the tarot card of the week. Let's get into some energy really quick. So, spirit for the highest good of all, what energy do you have for us? What do you got to say for us, spirit? Earth angel. So yeah, this is a major Pisces card. How are we being of service to others? How are we helping others? And as well. As you're helping others and being of service, I'm going to be an angel to earth for others and, and helping and, and looking out for others. I've been seeing so many, um, this Pisces season really shows you so many, just people doing good things out, out of the kindness of their heart, okay? So many people helping people with their strollers. So many people, I literally was at the dog park just now. I'm at the park, but there was dogs. And just, play, you know, dogs playing and people with the owner coming up and just sharing with each other, just openness with others that you don't know because of this feeling of connectedness to the collective, okay? So looking at everyone in the world and being of service and wanting to show love with everyone. But this also shows as you're being a servant to others, 
and helper to others, how are you being and helping yourself? Are you giving to yourself? Are you filling your own cup, Ace of Cups, before you are filling yours? Kind of like the airplane thing. If an airplane, something terrible happens in the airplane, and the mouths have to come down, you have to put yours on first before you can help others because if you're trying to help others and you, you die because of I me mean, or, or you know you lose lose consciousness because of the pressure, nobody gets helped. So you make sure you're fine so then you can help as many people as possible because you don't have to worry about yourself. Okay? And so that is the energy coming in that we're going to be focusing on going towards this new moon. Okay? Bottom of the deck, honor your feelings. Okay, Notice the moon as well. So I really feel like the full moon in Virgo that we had on the 1st of March really showed lots of what came up emotionally for us. Um, and we've been you know, working through all these things since then. And now I really feel like it's time to honor your feelings. All these Pisces, all this Pisces energy, all this tapping into our emotions we've been having and really moving forward from that. Now that you have a new understanding of what you're feeling. Um, lastly, I want to just give one more card for our energy. Express your creativity as well, okay? This is a lot about three energy, all this three energy. So make sure you're expressing yourself and, and sharing yourself and not holding back as well in this new moon. Now it's time. Pisces rules is all about, you know, the connection to music, the connection to art, okay? Um, lots of, if you have lots of Pisces energy, you are very creative, lots of artistry, lots of, um, just lots of focus on, on art because creativity is our, how we channel, you know, your, our creativity is not ours, okay? When we're creative, if you, if you like for dance, when I think about the movement is when I get blocked. You have to just open yourself up and allow inspiration to come in. And inspiration is the spirit, is the universe, okay? So express your creativity, meaning connect with spirit and open yourself up to express yourself and let spirit express through you at this time, okay? Lastly, let's get into some angel guidance for this month. I mean month, I'm sorry, for this week, okay? So spirit, for this week, what, what guidance do you have for us? Go for it. So lots of energy about moving forward, but make sure it's in a balanced way. Okay? This says your prayers and positive expectations have been heard and answered. We've been working with you on this situation since its genesis, and we continue to watch over you and everyone involved. Stay on your present path as it will take you very far indeed. All right. And my loves, I really feel the need to pull out my favorite deck for us. Okay. Ooh, that's my the Sacred Rebels deck. Okay, I'm going to pull a card um, to give us a general, conclusive summary of the energy for the week. Um, it's amazing advice and just amazing, strong wisdom. So this spirit is for the collective, all the people watching this video. Thank you for watching as well. Thank you, you know, just for staying tuned with me, following me, um, and loving the message and, and, and sharing the message and, and staying in contact with me. Thank you so much to new clients coming in as well. Um, I really love new, just, just connecting. I really feel like I'm connecting with souls that I've known for so long. Um, and I'm really just enjoying all of it. Okay. And there's just, I'm seeing such a new wave of awakening and ascension coming in and bringing light to the world. Yes. Yeah. So that is my mission and that is so many others' missions. And I really am happy that, you know, um, we're able to do this together. So thank you again for watching. I never really say that. I'm always in here like, okay, let me get down to work and say what I need to say, but I really appreciate it. Um, the comments warm my heart all the time um, because, you know, growing up, there was no one I could talk to about this stuff. And now it's so nice to have connection um, and, and being able to heal and help people through this is, is, is amazing. Um, so thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yes. Um, here we go. So we got what is already with you. Number 17. All the butterflies. I love that alliteration. Thank you, Logan. The allusion to butterflies as well, okay. New awakening, look who flips right to the page, Liz. Okay, here we go. You hold in your hands that which you seek. In other words, the pair of spectacles you have been rummaging around the house for are sitting on top of your head. What you are seeking, perhaps by exploring far and wide, is actually right under your nose. You may not like this idea, it is so much more wonderful to imagine there is something yet to find. Of course, there is unlimited creative potential and always something more that can be. Yet in this instant, it is important for you to know that you already had what you need and what you want. That doesn't mean it's the end of the story, although it does ask you to give up the fantasy that a perfect solution lies 
in the future somewhere. Instead, it asks you to acknowledge that everything necessary for success is with you now. All you need to do is accept this and act with what you have all have available to you. This is good news. The particular chapter has a happy ending as well. That ending will become real for you just as soon as you stop trying to skip forward to the next chapter. Better to be completely present in the now. From here, the next phase will naturally happen without force on your part. It might not seem like you have much to start with. Perhaps you feel that all you have is a small, simple choice to make. Perhaps you have a strong a song to begin, an email to send, a conversation to start, or a sketch to let loose. However small it is, enough to get the ball rolling. Don't make the mistake of believing that what you need is behind you, lies with another, or is yet to appear. You have all that you need to take the next step in your life, and from that, all else will flow. And there is a sweetness to that. It is a small pleasure at first, but one from which greater pleasures can unfold. This message is amplified if you have also drawn the oracle as every journey starts with a single step. We have some dramatic here. Um, this oracle also comes with a special guidance for you. You are more ready than you think you are. You are more prepared than you realize. You don't need an entire army of resources to move ahead, although you may find that when you do move, many resources suddenly become apparent. All that you need in this moment is just one sweet act of nourishment. That is enough to take you out of backwards nostalgia or regret and forwards into what is awaiting you now. Be brave, dig deep within, and enjoy the sweet surrender. So, so much about surrender. And that last part talked about nourishment, self-nourishment. Again, I'm going to say it again. How deep will you go? How far will you go? You know? um, so it's in your hands. You already are what you need. And it's just about how to find, how to further find that in yourself and trust that in yourself. And once you believe that, others will believe it too. And so much love, guys. Thank you so much for watching this weekly energy. If you want to get, you know, any uh, energy reading for yourself, get in contact with me. Um, sessions are still 30% off for the live sessions. That, again, is what I really feel like is the thing, the best thing I offer. Um, because we get a one-on-one -on -one connection. And Spirit does crazy things when I'm doing my one-on-one -on -one sessions. It, it is insane, okay? The amount of guidance that comes through the one-on-ones is, like, mind-breaking, mind-blowing. Um, so, yeah, get in contact with that. Check out other services as well. I do tarot, I do astrology, metaphysical questions as well about your body. All these different things are things that I offer. Um, like, subscribe, and comment to the videos as well. I really enjoy commenting back and seeing who likes the videos and, you know, really share the message as well trying to spread myself out there, spread my word. So reach out to other people and share the message, share the word. Um, much love, guys. I will talk to you later. Enjoy the week.